So it's been a while since I've showed off a bit of my collection, my Blu-ray collection. So I decided today we'll do the full Harry Potter collection. I just like to do this to show off some of the movies and talk a bit about them that I don't usually get to talk about. So I've been a Harry Potter fan since before the fifth one, I want to say, yeah, if that was 2009. I remember here in Ireland we had like a massive, massive snow for like a good week we had them and I went into my, we, me and my neighbours, we went out and played in the snow and then after I would go into their house and they introduced me to Harry Potter. One day we watched the first one with hot chocolate which was the perfect way to watch the first Harry Potter movie in the snow with hot chocolate, fantastic. Then we watched the second one, went to the third one and then I was honestly hooked. From that point onwards, I've loved Harry Potter since probably over 10 years now. I've been to the uh, Wizarding World in London where you get to see a lot of the sets and all the kind of props and all that. That was fantastic. I'd love to go to the uh, Wizarding World they have in somewhere in America, but who knows when I'll ever get to go there. Got to walk down Diagon Alley. Great stuff. Got to try Butterbeer, which is terrible. I couldn't even finish it. But... Anyways, I've loved Harry Potter for so many years. Got all of them here on Blu-ray. So, let's actually talk about them. First up is Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them. I think this movie would have been a lot better as a standalone. I think if they just did this one and done, kind of giving a movie kind of behind the scenes about the whole Beasts story. Because there's a book in the actual franchise, a book inside that about the book that News Commander's writing so I would prefer if they just kind of left this movie as it is just telling that story rather than doing five movies telling about world war wizarding world war and I just that doesn't I don't care I kind of wish Newt's Commander was just that and then moving on I'm probably going to upgrade this to 4k I love the steelbook but I have taken it out I haven't watched it in a few years I think the last time I watched it was on the first, second one came out but you can't really see it there but there's a couple of scrapes up here and it's just it's disappointing when your steelbooks get scratches on them but anyways I love the steelbook anyways there's your cover this is actually one of the first steelbooks I picked up I think it, I picked up this one in Creed which I think is also damaged now uh, there's your back and then your inside I got my cinema ticket I got to see the first and second back to back in cinema so there's my ticket for that and then there's your inside again so you stand there blu-ray just before pressing play I actually just checked how much the 4k was and it's only a tenner for the 4k of this movie so I think I might upgrade this to 4k and next up I've got Fantastic Beasts and the Crimes of Grindelwald. You can tell they really didn't think the Fantastic Beasts name into this at all because Fantastic Beasts and the Crime of Grindelwald sounds absolutely stupid and terrible. The Steelbook though, I'm not a fan of it. When they kind of when they released the artwork, I was thinking, okay, I have to get the second steelbook because I've got the first steelbook. Wish I didn't do that. There's your front, and I don't like that the back is upside down really annoys me and there's no reason in particular why it does that it's the 4k but uh, there's your back you've got newt's commander and you've got a uh, dumbledore i think that outfit is better than that one there they're very actually are they the same i don't know why i thought they were different but i always from memory i thought oh yeah the, his outfit in the second movie is better but they're the same that's just my mind. You got Grindelwald here. Johnny Depp. Amazing performance in this movie. He was actually easily to stand out. And my favourite part about this movie was Grindelwald. It's actually quite heavy in here. I can't remember. I've got my um, ticket. I've got some disc here that I have never opened. Uh, extended cut and delayed scenes. Not seen in cinema. Not opened. So I haven't seen it either. A bunch of paper. You've got uh, the regular Blu-ray. And then you've got the 4K. And then there is your poster. Quite a boring kind of thing. There's so many characters here. Like, I don't remember these these two here. Don't remember who they are. And you've got uh, Nicholas Fumel. You've got a uh, small... The, what, what do they call them? Elves? Not elves. Oh, I can't remember what they're called. But the, um, she's there. I remember she was the one who actually raised the snake lady as far as I know. This... I haven't seen this in cinema. I've had no ambition to go back and watch it. I don't care for this movie. I didn't like it. I saw it the first time. I thought this was crap. Then I was hanging out with my friends. And uh, he, he's a big Harry Potter fan. He goes, oh, let's go see it. Let's see it. I'm like, man, trust me. It's not good. You're not going to like it. He goes, no, no, no. I really want to see it. I really want to see it. We left it. The first thing he said to me was, that was crap. I haven't seen it since that day. Even though I own it on 4K, I've had no ambition. I think I might get rid of this steelbook and get a just a regular 4k because i really don't like these steelbooks looking back on it now but on to the good stuff 
these I had um I had uh my first Blu-ray my mom actually bought me was Harry Potter one to six, but the cases I didn't I don't like when they do double cases so like one and two was in a case three or four was in a case five and six was in a case and the whole thing was just it was so damaged because i bought it years ago it was i bought it before even part seven or movie seven came out so i then picked up seven and eight and i had these really nice cover designs so i went back and i got rid of my old set sold it on and bought all of these so first up is the Philosopher's Stone, or the Sor what did they call it? Sorcerer's Stone in America. These I love these character these um these slip covers. I've been tempted to pick these up in 4K, but I've heard they're not the best in 4K, so I think I might not because I kind of like having them all in the individual packaging. So I'm not really that pushed on getting a box set. If I can get them all individually in 4K, I might upgrade then. But as of now, I'm quite happy to keep them the way they are. But there's your front. You got a little still moment there, of course, there's a hat, and then you got the spine. And I love that up here it has year ones and same on the other side. Really, really love these slip covers. I think that they're from memory they're the same. Yes, I actually got to see this one in cinemas when cinemas closed last year. The first when they first opened up, the first movie they showed was The Philosopher's Stone. So me and my girlfriend went to go see The Philosopher's Stone in the cinema. Movie I never thought I'd get to see. So now I've seen um both of the fantastic beast movies the very first harry potter movie the last harry potter movie and part four who knows when i get to the ones but hopefully if they play them i'll go see them just so i have seen them and then we got the uh, chamber of secrets you got the actual chamber of secrets entrance there really like that again you got year two the back you've got harry potter probably looking at the basilisk or tom riddle i can't really remember it's been a while since i've watched these i think as a whole with the harry potter franchise i haven't seen them since the um what's it called crimes of grindelwald came out i remember binging them all leading up to that but i just haven't gone back to watch them ever since then it could be because i really like crimes of grindelwald or just could be i just have had no interest in going back i do i love this franchise it's not in my top five it's probably in my top 10 but it's, it's not my top five favorite franchises i've read the first three books but i just i just fell off it i, just, I haven't got back to it i'll get back to it at some point though next up is a lot of people's favorite you got the prisoner of azkaban i think this is a quite of a more of a disappointing cover Compared to the other one, I think it would have been cooler to have maybe have Bookbeak or something cooler. I think that is, of course, it's called Azkaban, so it does make sense that they ha do have that. But I just, compared to the other ones, I think this is kind of more of one of the uh, boring covers. There again, you got the Spine, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, you got Year 3, and then you got Sirius Black right there. And number 4, which is another one I got to see in cinema last year with my mom brother and sister my brother had never seen harry potter i was trying to talk him into watching it for years and he decided to start with number four so he's seen number four he hasn't he said oh yeah i realized he's gonna go watch them all he hasn't watched them all but there you go i love this slip cover is that embossed no it's not that would be cool if that was embossed to fire but that's such a really cool actually just notice that there they have the years yeah, they have the years in the corner and all of them. But you got year four, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. As I said, I got to see this in the big screen, which is long. It's 157 minutes. I forgot how long this movie actually goes on for. But this is one that a lot of people don't like who've read the book. Don't haven't read the book, so I don't really have an opinion on it. From it's it's not my favourite, but it's not my least favourite. My least favourite is Crimes of Grindelwald out of the whole Wizarding World. I'll get to my least favourite when I get to my least favourite. But again, you got the spine, Harry Potter, and the Goblet of Fire. I like that. That's, that's blue, actually. Is that the only one that's a different color? No, they actually pretty much all change color. But uh, you got year four, and then you, on the back, you got Dumbledore, which he's got his easily his best line is when he comes up against Harry Potter, shouting in his face, saying, Did you put your name in that Goblet of Fire? Love that line. My girlfriend hates that line. She's read the books, but I love that line. Next up, we got Order of the Phoenix, which was for years my favorite, and it's probably my second favorite. I love this movie. You get, there you got the um what's they call it the prophet or the prof the prophecy I, I, I can't remember exactly what they call it. actually just while i'm on goblet of fire i have to try wizard cup it's pretty cool i got it in the uh, wizarding world in london really really cool about loads there about that about um harry's wands uh, dumbledore's wands and there was something else really cool i bought but i cannot remember but anyways here we go on to the Order of the Phoenix. You were actually able to buy that, but it was like 100 euro, so I decided not to get that. But there's your cover. There is your spine. Again, year five. 
in the back you got them all circling up i say right before the death eaters come in i haven't seen it in a few years again i really should sit down and watch the harry potter movies again because they're great the problem is they are very long like i'm looking at the back of them all and like they're all averaging around 130 to 150 minutes like this one now which is my least favorite of the harry potter movies the uh, half of prince 153 minutes that's a lot it's just, I don't even know what it is in particular about this movie. I've just, I've never loved it. I just, Harry and everyone, it's great to see them, of course, since their last year in Hogwarts. But for whatever reason, this is just, it's always been my least favourite in the Harry Potter franchise. Whenever I watch it, I feel like, oh, I'm at this point now. I kind of want to skip over it. There's, no, I can't think of the reason why. It's just, this has just been a Harry Potter movie that I've never, I've never loved. Um, maybe if I watch it now, I'll go back and love it. But for whatever reason... As of right now, this is my least favourite out of the main Harry Potter movies. But there is your cover. Not really mad in that cover either, actually. I think this is... I like it more than the um, Prisoner of Azkaban because it's more colourful. But I just, I'm not really a big fan of that one either. And then you got your spine, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, year six. And then in the back, you got Harry Potter there. Next up is the Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Love that cover, part one. I love, love that cover. You've got Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 1. You've got Year 7 Part 1. And in the back you've got Ron, Harry, and Hermione. I really love this movie. I love them just kind of Ron, or when Ron goes off and Harry and Hermione are just kind of hanging. I love that dance scene between the two of them. When it's just like the one bit of happiness they've had in so long. It's a movie that people go on. Oh, it's just a setup to Deathly Hallows Part 2. Which of course it is. It's Part 1. But really really I, I really really enjoy this movie it just gets a lot more hate than it deserves and by saying hate i mean people don't hate on it they just think it's not as good as the rest of them but i think that is a solid movie it's not one of the best ones but certainly not the worst one or close to the worst one and then my favorite in the entirety of the franchise harry potter and the deathly hollows part two best cover as well definitely the best cover love this movie i love the whole this is easily one of my favorites i've got a list on my letterbox of my favorite movies of all time this one's in there i love that cover you got the spine part two in the back you've got harry versus dumbledore in the big final epic finale and you know what that's all my blu-rays i've got the books i'm gonna get the books Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Before I actually show you the books, I got the uh, Triwizard Cup right here. This was the cheaper version of the two. The other one was like a metal actual glass. Part. This is plastic. But one of the cool things it does do, hopefully it still works. Yeah, there we go. You can kind of see it on the camera. Which light do I have to block? Okay, there you go. You can get yeah, you. It lights up. It is quite cool. It's very it's one of those things that i've had for two years now but i've always struggled to find a place to put it because of course it is an awkward shape so i've never really known where to put it it's by my tv but it is a very cool as soon as i saw it i've actually even before going there it's one of those things i've really wanted for years i was always checking on ebay and places like that to see if i could find one as soon as i saw it in store i immediately picked it up and then also while i was over there i picked up two wands i've always wanted a wand but I did, the ones they always sell here are kind of like plastically and not cool. But these are really fucking cool. So I picked up Harry's wand, of course. Really like it. The handle's weird. It's like holding a branch. But it's very cool. And I also had to pick up the Elder Wand. I was going to pick up the Elder Wand was the one I immediately went to. I was thinking, well, I can't knock at Harry's wand. So I had to get Harry's wand too. I think if I was to go back again, I'd probably get Dumbledore's wand. But I love this one like i'd be sitting on the couch watching a movie this is close stuff to the couch so i pick it up and i just end up start flicking around with it playing with it because i think this is so cool it's so light it's easily one of my favorite things i've got loads of kind of um like movie props like i've got on my desk here i've got a bunch of uh sonic screwdrivers from doctor who and like i've got all these kind of stuff like i've got luke's lightsaber i've got lucio from the walking dead and this is one of my favorites out of them all like i think i don't even know my favorite cap shield is probably my favorite but uh, i love love this one and they weren't from memory they were like 20 pounds i think i can't really remember but they came with these kind of golden stands to be able to hold it up Really, really cool. Really, really love those ones. I think if I was, to go, I, I will be going back because my girlfriend and me will be going over there at some point. So um, she's never been. As far as I, yeah, no, she's never been. So uh, we'll probably be going there, and I'll probably end up picking up a wand and a few other things. First book, just to get it out of the way. Um, the Cursed Child. I've actually never read it. I, I know 
as you can see, it's like it's never been read. It's like in perfect condition. I when I started actually reading the main books, I got to three. I'm like, oh yeah, I'm gonna finish these. I'll buy Cursed Child now. Never read it. I know a lot of people don't like it. I don't know why they don't like it. I was actually gonna see the stage play, but it doesn't seem like five hours, and I saw the price. More importantly, so I never got to see that. It's inevitable. We are going to get this in a movie at some point. Like Daniel Radcliffe isn't really doing much. Neither is um. Rupert Grint, I think his name is, and Emma Watson isn't doing much really anymore either, so I give it five years and we'll get the cursed child. And it's gonna make a billion dollars easily, so I don't know why they wouldn't want to do it. So we will get that movie at some point. I don't know it like, I know I think time travels in it and all, but I don't really know. But years ago my mom bought me the um full box set collection here. Really cool. It comes like in like a um a package you see it's been torn off there you can see philosopher's stone says the the complete harry potter collection and then here you got jk rowling you've got something from every movie like you got the prisoner of azkaban you've got the uh, half blood prince here you've got the order of the phoenix philosopher's stone what could that be i'm gonna say it's for the um goblet of fire because i can't see anything for the goblet of fire you got a uh, Deathly Hollows right here, and then you got the um, Chamber of Secrets. These books, I remember when I was reading these when I was younger, because I tried to read them when I was younger too. But uh, I remember people were like, that's not the real Harry Potter books. They're not cool. But I actually really like these covers. But when you open it up, that's them all there, each different colors. So first up, you've got the Philosopher's Stone. You got, I love the covers. I really do love these covers. And then the back. And then you got your spine. You got a little symbol for everyone. Like here you've got um a golden bird. What the move them out? Maybe if I remembered what that is, it'd be very good. Then we've got the Chamber of Secrets. You've got a spider. And then you've got a tree. Remember a tree in the third movie? I can't remember what importance a tree has in the second movie. Then you've got the Prisoner of Azkaban, which did I finish it? No, I've got a bookmark in here. I'm on page 118. I might actually keep this out and get back to it. Uh, you got the Time Turner, and then you've got um, which I'm assuming is Azkaban. I'm gonna keep this over here because I will get back to that. You've got the Goblet of Fire. Yes, Goblet of Fire is right. And then you've got the uh, bus that the women school comes over in. And then you got the uh, Goblet of Fire itself there. I love I love the colours. I really do. And I love the signature of Harry Potter. All of it. I think it's a gorgeous set. I doubt they even make it anymore. My mom got it for me like 15 years ago. Probably at this stage. No, apparently 15 years ago. More than 10. Let's go with that. And then you got the cover for the Order of Phoenix. Which is a massive fucking book. But really love that. You got the spine. Which you've got um, Fox the Phoenix I want to say. And then you've got the um, Sirius Black, the Black family home, the front door for that. You got the Half Blood Prince, which I heard the book is like a billion times better than the movie. Yeah, you got you got Dumbledore sending off his enchantment. You've got, I'm going to say that is Hogwarts. And then you've got the um, Liquid Look on the side of that one. And then you got Deathly Hallows, which for some reason when I was a kid. It would have been before the last movie came in. Actually, that's probably why I started to read this one. Is there a bookmark in here? No, but I started to read this one. Because I'm like, oh, let's see, what ha let's see how it ends before I see the movie. So I started to read this one. You've got the graveyard. You've got the uh, snitch, which I got one here that my girlfriend made for me. And then you got the back, which is the sword of Gryffindor frozen in the lake. That's the full actual book collection i've got loads of other stuff like kind of i got loads of pops i've got um what else do i have i think it's mostly pops do i have anything else no i think i think loads like too many pops to really show you i've got actually loads of lego sets i've got actually at the moment i'm looking at the uh uh hogwarts express over there i've got a hogwarts i'm building it there's one set i have it's still in the box i can't build because i've got no room for it but loads of lego sets for harry potter really honestly talking about harry potter now really makes me want to not only start watching them again but also finally finish the book franchise i don't know why it's, it's taken me so long from memory i actually it would have been 2018 when i 
would have put this book down. So I'm thinking, will I just continue from where I was, or will I start the book again? It's the size of the book, I'm probably just going to start it again. Because I loved the first two, and I, I really, really loved that. But I think probably something was happening at the time that made me just want to put it down and do something else. Who knows what it was. But that is my full Harry Potter book, apparently, and Blu-ray collection. If you want to see future Blu-ray collections to me in the future, make sure you click the subscribe button. I'm going to try get to my full Disney classic collection. It's such a big collection, that's why I'm kind of putting it off. And I really do love doing these videos, but I just always forget to do them. Like, I've done a Marvel one, I've done um, a non-MCU, I've done DCU, I've done Pixar, I've done my full Blu-ray collections. If you want to see everything and just skip all those, watch that video. But, if you do want to see future Blu-ray kind of content from me, I do a monthly haul video, I do unboxings for new releases. If you want to see all those, click the subscribe button so you can come back and see them in the future. And as always, thanks for watching.